This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And the idea is to have just goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Favouring the short one. The cutback. De Bruyne. Here's Robertson. And Thiago lost custody of it. Grealish. Might really be able to trouble them here. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Now how about the short corner? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Rodardo Silva waiting in the middle. Clears it away. Bernardo Silva. And that pass could be troublesome. Credit to them for winning back possession. Andrew Robertson. Thiago well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in still level here but the pressure escalating and Edison has somehow kept it out Trying to deliver it accurately. Not good hands there from the keeper. Laporte. Foden. Breaking at pace. Liverpool have it once again. Diogo Jota. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. This is Thiago. Fabinho. Can he put them in front? And it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper can't. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And Thiago. And the cross smuggled away. And the Liverpool throw in forthcoming. Crossing possibilities. Andrew Robertson and back with Thiago Robertson now Mane could be threatening here's Fabinho Liverpool have given it away and breaking at pace with Menace playing with purpose and control 
Walker. De Bruyne. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Walker. In the right place to cut out the pass. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Could play it in. Diogo Jota. And he takes it on. Determined block. Jota. Magnificent defending. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Good tackle. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Ruben Diaz the ball with Rodri Jack Grealish Bernardo Silva and Grealish well visionary passing oh there's the goal that gives City the lead in the final will it prove to be decisive Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So underway again here, one nil the score. Another perfect position to read it. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Here it is now, a substitution. Fabinho Milner and this is Diogo Jota now and offside well close one Thirty minutes left for play an effective challenge can they take advantage and he's through Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Will he finish? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And then it's a pretty tidy finish too. Hits it hard, he hits it low, and it just makes it difficult for the keeper. A really nice goal. So, 2-0 now.
Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Options in the centre. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. A really top-notch piece of defending. Roberto Firmino. Well, can they prize them open now? Salah gives it a go. Vigorous defending. And return to Salah. Alexander Arnold. Here's Firmino. Superb block. The cross is on. Good physical play. And Thiago. Really good high press. And Roberto Firmino's in there. And the no-nonsense clearance. Fabinho. Salah! Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Walker. The ball with Rodri. Sterling. And return to Sterling. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. Well, we know what back pocket means. He's off. Well, no doubt in my mind, he had to go. It was a dangerous tackle. to the keeper and a big chunk of added time here a minimum of five minutes Walker Mares De Bruyne now Bernardo Silva well you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp they can't get near the ball he's given it away And there it is, full-time, Manchester City, Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond.
Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories.